and welcome to our Toronto. For Toronto's Etherington brothers, charity and service are a family affair. Paul, Mark and Sean Etherington are the founders of Motion Ball, an organization that's raised millions of dollars for the Special Olympics Canada Foundation. They've been at it for 17 years, not only raising funds, but also changing perceptions of Canadians living with intellectual disabilities. Their slogan is educate, integrate and celebrate. I caught up with the brothers ahead of their main event, Marathon of Sport. You're going to go left, center, you're going to go right, center, and I'm going to go right. Okay. And we're going to be like a line and we're going to go after the ball. Hands okay. up to the ball, Hands okay? Yeah. In on three. On three, motion ball. One, two, three, motion ball! This is motion ball in action. The creation of Toronto brothers Sean, Paul, and Mark Etherington, who wanted to find a way to give back to a community they had a long time connection with. So we met at, at a pub <laughs> over a couple of cocktails, and we came up with the idea of motion ball and really saying, okay, how can we put on events that will bring out our friends, bring out our audience, have some fun, and raise some money for Special Olympics. And we started with one event in Toronto, and it was 2002. Our first meeting was October of 2001, so we wanted it, you know, we planned it very shortly and very quickly. We had two events in that year. The first was a concert by the Tragically Hip, which was pretty cool. They happened to be practicing for the Salt Lake Olympics, and they ran an event for us, which is pretty awesome. On three, guys, motion ball. One, two, three, motion ball! When we started, we were very much based in Toronto, but now we're a national organization. We have 45 event directors with, in most cases, no direct connection to Special Olympics or families with an intellectual disability, who simply, as a young professional, want to get engaged. Motion Ball has provided with a, them with that opportunity, and uh, I'm always amazed at how much they give back. Our expectation is to be in every city, major community in Canada, and to be in every university. That's how big we want Motion Ball to be. Maybe we take it outside of Canada, but let's start with Canada first. Are you going to take a shot? Oh. 17 years later, Motion Ball has raised more than $9 million for Special Olympics Canada. And every year, they hold a marathon of sport, a day of events designed not to just raise funds, but also awareness. Our flagship event, Marathon of Sport, is all about integration. So we have corporate teams, we have individual teams made up of 10 people, male and female, but the most important part is what we call the celebrity for the day. And we add a special Olympic athlete to each team because there's no better way to understand the cause that you're supporting than to spend a day on a sports field or in a gym playing competitively and getting to know your special Olympic athlete. Giving back through sport was something that made sense for the brothers, having spent their lives around sport. We grew up in a family, we watched the Leafs, the Jays, uh, the Raptors as they came into being, and played sports competitively, you know, at a certain degree, our whole lives. Uh, Paul's coached Special Olympic athletes, I coach a lot of hockey, Sean coaches in soccer. So it stayed part of our lives, which was when we started Motion Ball, why we wanted a sporting feel to it. Because it's, it's a great expression of just having fun, being healthy and fit, and it's a great way to engage with the cause that we're trying. The Etheringtons founded Motion Ball to get fellow young professionals involved in the spirit of giving. All these years later, that spirit has caught on. They now run Motion Ball events in nine universities across Canada. When we started in 2002, there were 25,000 registered Special Olympic athletes in Canada. And what we like to think we've been a big part of in, is the growth of the athlete count and the volunteer count. That number is now at close to 46,000. And a big part of that is the awareness Motion Ball has created and the funds we've raised. So that's something we are very proud of. But it's all rooted in a family with a close connection to Special Olympics that stems from their parents. Dad Brian is the founding chairman of Special Olympics Canada Foundation and was appointed a member of the Order of Canada. Giving back has been a part of the DNA uh, since we grew up and it's just something that we were just expected to do but it wasn't an obligation, it was just a natural tendency of the family so we saw through mum and dad and the broader Special Olympics organization, the power of their involvement in the community on many different threat levels. And I like to think as the father of two daughters who are actively engaged in motion ball, same with your son and your daughters, Paul, that they are our, our future as well. So 
It's just belief in people, the belief in the need to give back and, and represent, um, you know, what Canadians can be. Nice. What I'm curious about is the impact that the Special Olympics athletes have on the teams who take part in motion ball, in particular, like the first time teams who may not have a sense of really what to expect. What do you see happening? Well, I would say for 90% of our participants at a motion ball marathon of sport, none of them have ever experienced spending a day with a Special Olympic athlete. And to be quite honest, some initially are nervous, apprehensive. How do I treat this person? You know, they're not used to, to dealing with a Special Olympic athlete. And then what they realized, and Sean alluded to it earlier, was we're playing sports. So we're trying to put a ball into a net or into a goal. And we're all here doing the same thing. Sport levels the playing field, and that's what's beautiful about it. The impact is also evident in the athletes who participate in Motion Ball's events. Kevin Timberlake started as a Special Olympics athlete. Now he sits on Motion Ball's board of directors. I was a very shy kid. Uh, kid and I was scared I could pick on all the time when I was younger and when I saw the sports Olympics they brought they kind of brought me out of my shower a little bit then when I really met the brothers the family got me involved doing landscaping doing different so work at their office and I had show my talent I I learned learn how to deal with money and Thanks to his experience with Motion Ball and Special Olympics, Kevin now owns his own landscaping business and has also started a new chapter in life. I got married, married with my wife, Diane. Uh, I uh, met her through Special Olympics and, and Paul and the family helped me out to propose to her at Motion Ball Gala. It was kind of neat. I was, I was trying to figure out how to do it, somehow involve with Bush Olympics because we've been so close. And that's how I got it. Paul uh, was my best man and Mark and Sean was the MC. The MC's at my wedding, it was kind of, it was amazing. We had over 30 athletes at my wedding. It's success measured in the confidence the Special Olympics athletes gain and in the connections that are made through sport. As individual as we all are, the one commonality is the, the passion we see when we see these athletes coming down, when they're introduced at the various marathon sport events, when in Toronto you've got 84 teams, 120 athletes, everyone on their feet, and when you start to see people connecting the dots, dots between what the cause is and the impact it has on these athletes and the non-disabled -dis athletes that are participating, that's the aha moment that we all live for. That's what I'm really most proud of. Ty, Ty. Good way to finish. Hold on now. Good work, guys. That's energy. You go, There you go, guys. And this year, the brothers were awarded the Governor General's Meritorious Service Medal, and it was well-deserved. Well, with more and more high-rises,